Hi, I'm James Staveley, Hybrid EV Specialist for the Tool Connection, and welcome back to Stay Connected. Hi James, what have you got to show me today then? So Ryan, what we're looking at today is the new roadside recovery package, which along with the other package deals we've put together, this is an all-encompassing solution for the mobile technician at the side of the road when either recovering a broken down vehicle or a crash damaged vehicle. The general idea behind this kit is to make abundantly apparent that the vehicle itself has a high voltage risk, isolate non-trained personnel and even the owner of the vehicle away from the engine bay, but also deliver the appropriate products so if the vehicle were to be worked on at the side of the road, the technician is equipped with those particular lines. Okay, thanks James. Can you tell me any more about the signage and the barriers? So this barrier is new to the range. Unlike the other ones, it doesn't quantity, you don't need the posts and chains, but at the side of the road, this does work a lot more efficiently. These can also be joined together to make a greater length. Clips are available separately, but also doubles up as signage. So for the mobile technician, they can make a barrier around the front of the vehicle at the size of the roadside. The folding signs you see on the floor there, yet again, can be adapted to most landscapes. They come in a pair and double up yet again as additional signage, therefore making the vehicle abundantly apparent that it's a high voltage risk. Okay, James, I'm at the side of the road. What's the first thing I need to think about? Before anything else, PPE. And the first thing we need to address are the gloves. In any instance, while working on high voltage application, insulated safety gloves are an absolute must. In this case, they're rated to a thousand volt, class zero rated gloves, and protect the technician from any electric shock. The other problem we experience as well is, unlike in a workshop environment where we can always place rubber matting on the floor, at the side of the road in wet conditions, that's not always possible. So what we've included within this kit are our new insulated safety boots. These are a new addition to the laser tools range, size from seven to 12. These are anti-slip resistant, but also resistant to many corrosive properties. So at the side of the roadside, a really good choice in lieu of rubber matting. But the big feature about these insulated safety boots is they are rated to a thousand volts. So I've got my PPE on, what's next? Assuming the vehicle needs to be powered down, there are two products within this kit that will assist with that need. The first one being the two pole voltage tester. Simply self test it, no batteries required. This will give you a simple visual detection of presence and absence of voltage. Always follow manufacturer guidance on shutting the vehicle down. The voltage test supplied does read up to 600 volts, so it's more than compatible with most modern hybrid EV vehicles. So why is there a timer in the kit? In any instance of a vehicle needing to be shut down at the side of the road, we must first refer to the vehicle shutdown methods for that vehicle, the correct amount of time that the vehicle needs to be powered down for. Once we've established that, we then use the two pole voltage tester to then confirm the absence of voltage. What we must also establish is the time involved in that. So the timer is there to simply program in a time and then measure the amount of time to count down the discharge from the capacitors. So in essence, using the timer and the voltage tester, we can then confirm that the vehicle is depleted of its voltage and now safe to work on. What we've also included in this kit are the normal staples such as uh, the padlock and the lockout tag. But also we've included some self-adhesive stickers and some additional signage. With the self-adhesive stickers, they can be simply stuck to the vehicle. So when the bonnet is down and potentially the vehicle can't be identified as high voltage risk, the stickers would say otherwise. And lastly, tell me about the toolkit. As we've already addressed the PPE, the exclusion and the shutdown side of powering down the vehicle, we also need to include a toolkit that is going to over cater to for any instance the technician might experience um, at the side of the road, be it a breakdown or a crash damaged vehicle. It's a comprehensive kit and includes the socketry, the pliers and the screwdrivers and an insulated knife. So for every instance of what you might need an insulated tool for, this kit caters for that need. 
As with any insulated toolkit, what is absolutely vital are the relevant safety measures that these tools go through before they hit production. So you'll notice that every tool is marked and indicated to verify its, its safety standards. Also worth mentioning as well is the case, which also being waterproof is ideal for taking out on roadside assistance. But you will notice as well, you can padlock the case shut as well as an additional security measure. So thank you for joining us in this electrifying episode of Stay Connected. So until next time, stay connected and stay safe.